hi guys cheers won't be talking about this beer today uh, going to make a grain to glass about it but it's a slatten brew if you haven't watched the video the concept of slatten already I will put a link to that below then we will do a grain to uh, glass on this one as well today we're gonna talk a little bit about pH strips and we're gonna do an experiment I buy this at the homebrew shop they come in packages of 10 and they aren't that expensive but still don't have to waste money uh, so I actually cut these into four pieces uh, so you get four of these instead just keep one hole if you want the scale I actually have learned the scale by now it won't save you uh, a lot of money but it will uh, make the bag last four times longer uh, sometimes I use three even four strips uh, in one brew sometimes just one or two but that eats a package quite fast uh, so if you have cut this into uh, four strips instead uh, a bag like this lasts wear a long time if you have too much money on your hand just buy four packs instead every time I want to thank uh, Tony for the nice review of the black IPA I made the seven scenes beat bow which was my take on the 17 brew cruise uh, black IPA collaboration recipe these pH strips are very handy But the question is, do you have to cool your wort or your water down to uh, 20 C before using pH strips? To uh, clear that out, we're gonna test that on an actual brew day. Cheers! To give this matter a rest, let's pull out sample of the mash this is the hot mash just to uh, rule anything out we're gonna use the same pH strip so one goes into the hot mash just a bit out under we're just a bit under 5.2 uh, I'm gonna cool that down to 20 C and uh, take another reading with the second half see if we get any other interesting result the mash is cooled down uh, to about 17 degrees uh, doesn't really matter we've been sitting at 20 for this experiment to work this will actually be give a greater result than that yeah so we're at 17 degrees uh, and this is the one we used the hot match and this I made a little X there this is for the cold mash let's have a reading yeah <coughs> we can see we're just under 5.2 if we put them 
side by side they're identical you can let this dry up as well if you want to but I think that proves my point or say you not so we're uh, back after both sides of the strip has been uh, dried and as you see they are still identical so guys I guess that's cleared out you don't have to cool your wort down to 20C before using pH strips now we know it's a beautiful day here so Cheers, Dr. Hans out.